Hello, today we'll talk about that how you can delete the local branches in one go in a very simple way. We are not talking about UI automation, we are not talking about API automation, but some other automation which can help you. So uh, what it is, so whenever you uh, do some coding, you create a local branch. I gave the naming like this, like whatever day I work, I gave that, but there could be other better ways of giving naming convention I gave like this. So what we do is we push this and create a remote branch, right? And then uh, we create a PR pull request by which this code get, get merged. Right and Azure DevOps and GitHub and all other tools, they have an option where you select a checkbox so that this remote branch gets deleted. But what happens is you have a lot of local branches that you created over the days. And let's see how we can delete it in a better way. So let's begin. If you are coming first time on my channel, you please subscribe and do comment that what are the ways you use or if this video has helped you. There are various playlists on my channel that you can try as well. Now coming back to the topic. So first of all, how do we see that which branches are there? So we run the git branch command. So if you see that there are a couple of branches in my local. So if I have to delete the command is git branch minus D right and i have to give the name of the branch for example 14th october right so it deleted the branch so one way would be that i repeat this command again and again and again right so that would not be the optimized way because sometimes it happens that there are so many local branches that it will even uh, you have to scroll to check them out right so how we can do that is you can we can combine these two commands with the help of a pipe symbol right so how we do that so if you see here as of now we ran git branch that is to list all the branches the second command is to delete a particular branch this now how do we combine this we can combine this uh, using a pipe symbol so what it does is whatever is the output of this would act as an input to this command right and then we are running a for each loop on each of these branches so what will happen is all the branches which are being shown by this command on on all of them this command will get run. So we connected these two with a pipe symbol and applied a for each loop in between. Right. But there is a problem with this. Can you guess what is the problem? So that the problem with that command is that it will delete all the branches. But I don't want that it should even delete the main also right or whatever the base branch you have whatever might be the name so we want to put a if condition for that right so how you can put a maybe a where clause so for that in between we can put a where clause so all this is possible in uh, like uh, you can create on a terminal you can write this right it's kind of a powershell command so here just like sql we have applied a where clause now what will happen is all the branches except main. So in this command, you can just replace main with anything else like whatever. Let's say you have a release five branch or something, right? So what will happen is except that on all the branches, this command would be run, right? So if I have this command stored somewhere and I can run it after some days, then I might not have to repeat this command maybe 10 times or 20 times. I can just run this. And we can take this even a step forward, right? So what we can do is, so first of all, let me run this command. So I have saved it. So this is the command and if I go to, so this is IntelliJ, you can try it in any of maybe command prompt as well or Eclipse or whatever terminal I have opened, this symbol of terminal and you can open from here command prompt or Windows PowerShell, right? So if I paste that command and run it, so if you see there is an error coming that uh, that this is not found. So actually what is happening is there are some spaces in front of uh, in front of that uh, my branch name, right? To, so to avoid that, what we can do is we can add here dot trim, right? Like this. So what will happen is it will uh, remove the spaces that are there. And now if I run the same command again, it would delete it, right? So if I run that command now, let's see if it can delete it or not. So this is the command that I'll run now. 
so if you see all of the branches uh, it has deleted it right it did not uh, give any error right and now what we can do even to automate it in a better way right who will remember this command right you will say gaurav how do we remember that so what you can do is you can create a file and end it with the ps1 right ps1 that means it's a, a powershell script right so if you see here i have given the name as ps1 and what i did is let's say you want to create it in your desktop or somewhere else so you can navigate to the path so i am navigating to this path where my repo is there and then run this command so you can keep on changing this uh, based on whatever project or whatever repo you are working on so that this can get uh, run on maybe on all folders or whatever way you want to run you can customize it right so uh, hope you like this way right so further i have explained the same thing that okay let's down that what we have learned right so that git branch command and then delete command right we combine this one first correct with this using for each object and then we applied a where command by which uh, this can be done later what we did is we created a command file where we have kept this so for example uh, if i show you my dir so there is this command delete local so if i run this you will see that because i have already deleted all the all the branches now there are no branches left right so going forward i can just run this ps1 file right and if you want to run the same thing from command prompt right so this is command prompt and that was powershell ps if you see and this is command prompt so if you want to run it from here you have to give pws in front of uh, that so that it understand it's a powershell otherwise if you will not do that it will open it as a file right so if i show you like this it will open it in a notepad as a file if you want to run it as a powershell you have to give pwsh so hope you like it and you learned something new right with powershell we can uh, simply do this in a better way just have one command run it and it will get rid of you for typing git branch minus t a lot of time so if you like it uh, do subscribe to my channel and don't forget to comment thank you for watching